Despite the pandemic, business is booming in the Drake neighborhood. Buildings are being renovated and new businesses are opening up. Local 5's Lake and McGee looked into why this is happening in the age of coronavirus. So has the pandemic slowed or stunted enthusiasm for building and opening in the Drake neighborhood? In my opinion, no. New businesses are being welcomed to the Drake neighborhood and spending thousands and even millions on opening up. First up, we have Lucky Horse Bar and Grill. They spent $700,000 restoring a 133-year-old building and opened during the pandemic. Next, we have Merge Urban Development Group. A whopping $63 million was spent on projects between 24th and 25th Street on University the past several months. And then there's Habaneros. How much money was spent in opening this place? Uh, I can say probably 200. 200,000? Yeah. Staff say they talked about waiting until the pandemic was over to right open. Everything. We got to pay, uh, you know, rent. We got to pay bills. So we just decided, you know, and just have the doors open and see what what's going to happen. You know, we got to pay bills. I think that they're investing in the neighborhood right now because it remains affordable at the moment and is probably about to be the next big thing. Jason has lived in the Drake area for seven years. He believes Drake University is attracting businesses and apartment renters. If anything, I think you would have seen more happen had we not had the pandemic. I'm Lake and McGee for Local 5 News. We are Iowa. And to put into perspective the growth of the Drake neighborhood for you, according to Niche.com, the East Village in Des Moines was ranked number 16 in best neighborhoods to live in in the Des Moines area. The Drake neighborhood was ranked number 8.